Actually, near the path right now, near the path where that 28-year-old woman was attacked on Sunday night, it actually happened a little farther down from where I'm standing. I also had the chance to talk to some Wayne County Parks employees today. They tell me they've been notified to look out for anything strange. Meanwhile, joggers, they're changing their habits. What goes through your mind when you hear that? Um, it's... It's horrifying. Details hard to handle for joggers. A man tries raping a woman on Sunday night at Heinz Park around 730, grabbing her, beating on her, and dragging her towards the Rouge River, but she was able to fight him off. Investigators calling this highly unusual. She was in a part of the park where the path veers a little bit further from the road that you can't be seen. So I would ju just suggest that you stay a little bit closer to the path that stays closer along the road. We caught up with Haishan Montrau jogging in the area five days a week. She already changed her route and other changes may follow soon. A little bit scary and it's quite concerned and then will shorten my uh, jogging time. Deputies were in the area between Levan and Newburgh on Hines Road late this afternoon. A witness who helped the woman after her terrifying encounter shared this on Facebook, urging joggers to use the buddy system, saying he would never want his daughters to experience the sheer trauma she went through. Joggers like Casey McCready on a run, stopping to share his thoughts after hearing about this attack. I definitely would be cautious to let my wife or any female that I know run in out here after hearing that. Something like going in pairs, mm -hmm. be together? Being in pairs and staying out during the day. Investigators are working on a sketch right now that could be released as early as tomorrow. As for that suspect, he's described as a black man around 28 years old, 5'10", 180 pounds. He was wearing a dark compression shirt, also cargo shorts. If you know anything about this case, call police right away. For now, we are live in Livonia, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for that report.